Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. So if you guys haven't seen my last video, I'll link it in the description or you can just click here. But I wanted to show you guys how to repair weak spots in your locks. And you can do this method on lock extensions, natural locks, just locks in general. So as I said before, if you haven't already watched my last video so that you're all caught up, we're gonna jump right into it. So these are the tools you're gonna need. A pack of Afro kinky human hair, or whatever hair texture your hair is, obviously. My hair is kinky, so I used uh, Afro kinky human hair. So this is the brand that I decided to use. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the one I decided to use. And basically, what you're gonna do, so this is how much hair I had left. It came with like two bundles, but I have a lot left and I won't need this, so I'm just using it or I just keep it on hand just in case I need to do any kind of repairs, which I actually did all of my repairs. It wasn't a whole lot I needed to do personally because I took my time and I did it myself. So yeah. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't record it, I actually thought about recording my process, but it was already taking me long enough. <laughs> and I have, once again, a four-year-old and a two-year-old and I love my babies, I love my girls, but they a lot of work, so they are a lot of work. And it was already taking me way too long to finish my hair. And it would have taken me even longer if I would have been recording it. So didn't do that. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how exactly I repair weak spots. Basically, this was the area, and I can, you guys probably can't tell, but I can tell because I can feel it. But this was the area that I added um, the Afro Kinky uh, bulk hair. And I can feel right here, it could be a little weak. It's okay for me, but it's a little less dense than the rest of them. But imagine if it were that weak. Like if you guys have any like really weak spots where you can like see through it, obviously you can't see through this at all. I'm just being nitpicky <laughs> for the sake of the video, but imagine it's super thin. What I did basically, I took like the smallest amount of kinky hair like not a lot at all i used about that much sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less depending on that particular lock and what that lock needs so say this is the weak spot right here what i did was take a piece of the kinky hair i'll put it together like this like hold it like that in your fingers or you could figure out how the way you guys want to hold it, but that's what I did. Oh, also, these are the other tools you're going to need. I use a single needle, a double prong crochet needle, and then a crochet hook. So these three things. And if you want to know the size I used, I used 0.5 millimeter for both of these. So yeah, so basically what I did was say wherever the weak spot is, I'm just going to say that it's right here. I opened up the latch hook. Go, you want to go right through, like literally right into the, the weak spot. And basically you want to pull the hair through, just one, just one side of it. And you're going to have like two ends. You see how it's through the lock like that? Imagine it's through a weak spot. So what you want to do is very loosely. So bring the two together, but kind of spread it like that. And basically all I did was very loosely very loosely very loosely like wrapped it around and you see how it's like chunky like that you want that because that kinky hair is gonna fill in that weak spot and then what you're gonna do next is take a crochet hook i, I mean take the crochet needle the two prong one that's what i use because it's just faster and then just jab at it and that's basically what you're doing you're just filling in the weak spot with afro kinky hair and again you could do this at any you know part of your lock and basically what i'm doing is you can't really see but i'm just sticking it through sticking it through pulling it and just like creating a matrix of bound hair with that kinky hair in order to fill in that weak spot and it works much faster with the two prong if you want more precision in a very particular spot of the lock then you could use a single i just find this one is a little better for me personally and it's faster so yeah and if you want i mean what i tend to do is i'll just kind of go up and down like crochet a little down here and then go like in the region that wrap the, the kinky hair and again you can use this method on any type of locks so just get the hair that matches your natural lock the best in my case 
it's afro kinky so basically you just keep jabbing at it until you feel it tighten up and until you feel that the kinky hair has filled in the weak spot and once it's done you give it a palm roll and that's it wait where's the lock <sighs> see damn i lost it again i think it was this one um, no it was this one yeah and see seamless so you don't notice any difference in the texture or anything like that and now you have a filled in lock with no weak spots oh yeah so that's how i fill in any weak spots that i may have in my locks just get some afro kinky hair or whatever hair matches your texture and these three tools a latch hook and two crochet needles i mainly use this one but yeah, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys ever find that you have, maybe you've gotten, or I've seen this online a lot where people will go to a salon and they'll get lock extensions or something like that. And they end up slipping out, like left and right slipping out. You don't have to go back to the salon or to the loctician and have them repair it and have to pay whatever it costs you know to have it repaired you could just do it yourself get everything that you need which as i said the afro kinky hair latch hook and a set of these crochet needles i'll actually put them in my description box they actually came with or the one that i ordered came with the 0.75 millimeter but i find that that one is too big so the 0.5 was perfect for me and yeah you can completely repair it yourself you don't need to go to a salon and have them repair it for you at all. Might be putting some people out of business, but hey, you know. I'm just trying to save y'all some money. If y'all are anything like me and you're frugal and you wanna save your coins at least for, you know, something better, here you go. And yeah, that's it. That's how I repair weak spots. That's how you guys can repair any weak spot you may have along your locks. Just use a little bit of Afro kinky hair. Get you a pack of those crochet needles that I have. I'll link it again below in the description box and a crochet hook and you're good to go. No more having to worry about thin spots. You can use that method at any point along your locks and or if you have lock extensions, you can use that to repair any kind of slippage that's happening there. So yeah, I think I'm running out of memory. I'm getting hot and I have a few errands to run even though it's snowing. It is what it is. Thank God I have a car. So yeah, I'm going on too long. Long story short, if you guys want to see more from me, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.